quiet on the set. Are we good? Lights, camera, rolling. When I'm in the checkout line at the grocery store, I frequently look at the cart in front of me just to see what everyone else is buying. Like, what did they pick up today? Mm, that looks good. I wonder what their total is, which <laughs> lends itself to being very interested in grocery hauls on YouTube. I don't know why I care about things like that. I guess you could just say I'm nosy. And just in case you are nosy as well, today's video is going to be everything that I bought as far as groceries go in the month of January. So I recorded every single grocery haul for the entire month and put it into one video. Now I kind of have a weird life as far as groceries go because I do make specific cooking videos for YouTube where I do need to buy specific ingredients which does drive my prices up a little bit more. I began January with the goal of using up a lot of what I had. And while that happened, I definitely stocked up on some things as well. So you could say that I didn't really make a dent in what I have here in the house. <laughs> Even though I don't keep track the way that I used to, I still am frequently under $400 a month for my family of six. Now granted, I do have a high supply of items in my freezers, in my pantry that I can pull from, but I also am restocking as well. So I am interested to see what like a real month would be like if I didn't already have these things, but alas, that is not what this is going to be. So without further ado, let's check out all the grocery hauls I did in the month of January, right after you give me a thumbs up for this video and subscribe. Okay, let's see what I bought. This haul right now was actually done on January numero uno. It cost me, after tax, because I do pay tax on food in my state, $61.31. I will show you for the skeptics. Hold please. Mm, there, $61.31. Here is the haul. Two gallons of Miyak. Date January 19th. My kids are not going through this very quickly right now, so I thought this would be like a good far out date for this. We have some half and half. We have some whipping cream, some clam juice, which I purchased in conjunction with these to try and recreate fresh clams, which I can't get where I live. Uh, two heads of lettuce, I got a red leaf and a green leaf, just some like salad side dishes or whatever. Two bags of the mini sweet peppers. Oh, there we go, mini sweet peppers. These were on sale for $2.99 a bag. Not the best deal ever, but pretty good at my like kind of local expensive -y store. This is one of the best meal preps for breakfast you can do in this bag. All that's in this is potatoes, onions, red and green bell peppers, and salt. That is all. I'm sorry, but I have standards. Um, so what I like to do, I've showed this on the channel before, is I like to measure out the 85 grams, okay? Or maybe I'll do a double. So if I did twice that amount, it's 120 calories. And then I chop up some zucchini and then more bell peppers to punch up the vegetable factor, do a little saute, add some eggs, and it's really filling and hearty and delicious when it's so cold outside. So I got four bags of these for breakfast meal prep, basically for, I'm hoping these go the whole month, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, two zucchini, three green bell peppers to cut, kind of go with that. A bunch of onions just because you need them to cook with, some on the vine tomatoes, four Cukes, 50 cents each is a pretty good price. Because I saw Kim do this, I'm gonna copy it, but in my own way. I'm so excited. If you haven't checked out her channel over at The Wads, go do it. But basically she cut up cucumbers then crumbled feta cheese on it, which, um, barf, but I love goat cheese. We're gonna do cucumbers and tomatoes, which she also hates, which I find really weird because I think they're delicioso. <laughs> so we're gonna do tomatoes and cucumbers, with crumbled up goat cheese. So I found this four peppers goat cheese, a little bit of Italian dressing on top, and it's gonna be like a side dish for a couple days. Very excited to try that. I thought it was brilliant, easy, delicious. Did I mention easy? Yes. And then two dozen eggs. I still have some eggs in my, not my pantry, what? In my fridge, so we should be good for a couple weeks here. Some canned items, some crushed Italian tomatoes, just regular crushed tomatoes, and then four cans of Zipintos. Yeah, we haven't put Christmas away yet because it's only January 1st. We'll get to it later. I am <laughs> having my kids take over making a dinner one night a week. This week, Haley won't be able to do probably the first couple weeks because she's having foot surgery and she's not gonna be able to stand. I pulled out some cookbooks and I'm gonna like kind of teaching my boys how to pick a recipe. 
that looks delicious that you might want to try and make looking at the ingredients that you already have, making out a grocery list, and then they're going to be actually cooking the dish. My two older sons both picked pasta <laughs> for the first week, so I was like, well, we're gonna have a lot of pasta. Tyler picked this like red clam sauce with linguine. Oh, I didn't get linguine. Hopefully that's good. <laughs> and then Andrew wanted um, like chicken Alfredo. Uh, so that's why we got some of the ingredients that we got. The meal plan might be weird for a while. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow we're gonna do the roast with these, with uh, like the pepperoncinis, right? In the crock pot, I'm gonna do some baked beans, uh, mashed potatoes. Monday we're gonna have leftovers of the previous two nights. Tuesday is gonna be the clam linguine that's not linguine, whatever. Wednesday I think we're doing like rice bowls. Thursday is Andrew's chicken Alfredo. Friday we're doing Korean beef bowls. And then uh, we'll do another leftover night because I'm sure we'll have some. We, we always end up with a ton of leftovers and I hate for it to go to waste. So we do leftovers at least twice a week. Anyway, that's the meal plan for week one. Definitely trying to use up what we have. We have plenty of proteins in the freezer. In fact, let's just do a beginner, like this is what I have to start with. Why don't we take a look? I mean, it's not full, but there's food in there. Yeah, there's plenty. Yeah, there's plenty. And, oh, yeah, there's plenty. Ooh, scary basement. It's where I keep the bodies. Yeah, there's plenty of food. Outside freezer. <gasps> oh, yeah. Week one, January. 61 doll hairs. See you next week. Thank you, Built Bar, for sponsoring today's video. I love Built Bar because I can eat my daily candy bar, I mean protein bar, with high protein, low carbs, and a delicious taste. And it's satisfying and makes me feel like I'm eating candy when in actuality I'm getting my protein needs in for the day. I love all the flavors that involve chocolate. So cookies and cream, chocolate, chocolate mint, coconut with chocolate. And I did recently try the Built Puffs. The texture of those is bomb. It's kind of like a marshmallow peep, but better and covered in chocolate. They are gonna give my viewers a deal today. If you want to try them out, it is built.com with the code frugalfitmom15. It's gonna give you 15% off of your order. It's the first link down in the doobly-doo. All you have to do is click the link below to go to their website, use the code frugalfitmom1515 for 15% off your order. Big thanks to Built Bar for sponsoring today's video. Let's go back to some more hauls. Oh my gosh, it's not focusing on my face again. The box is on my face. It won't focus on my face. It is January 7th, so it's about one week from the last grocery haul. This is what happens when you go to Costco to return something and you decide you just need a couple pieces of produce. This, this is what happens. I'm gonna show you what we grabbed. A ton of stuff was on sale, so that was really exciting. I do have something to say about Costco's produce. I'll tell you that in a second. And then I did run into Walmart to shoot a video and they had a couple of things that we were out of, that I wanted, that I didn't like at Costco. Uh, we'll get to it. So we have a Costco and Walmart here this one was a lot more than the other one okay just over here at Walmart really quick I didn't see any croutons that I liked that wasn't like a 10 pound bag of croutons at Costco so I just got a couple of these from Walmart I didn't I got potatoes from Costco last time like last month and I didn't really like the quality so I grabbed a five pound bag of these Yukon Golds to have some potatoes on hand they had their Walmart brand of the light Greek yogurt in peach flavor peach flavor is the best flavor of yogurt changed my mind the eggs were such an amazing deal, I had to get them. I didn't even need any, but this three dozen count was $1.50. It was 50 cents a dozen, so I got six dozen eggs right here. I bought a package of this like a month ago, and this is the most amazing stuff on the planet Earth. I like it a lot. So we stocked up two months worth right here. Um, that's everything I got at Walmart. Uh, I will put the Walmart total bloop right there. Costco produce is more expensive than non-Costco produce just across the board. That being said, when I bought the green grapes and the apples the last time I was at Costco, the quality, the crunch, and the freshness and the taste were far superior than a lot of the other grocery stores I've been going to. In some cases, I'm going to say that Costco's produce is worth the premium. A box of, what are these? Gala apples right here. And these feel like nice and crunchy also. Oh, and look, 
It's a healthy snack. This was on sale. This is like $8 for 16 of these Chobani less sugar. And check out these flavors. Why can I not grab the box? Vanilla and cinnamon? What? That's the only crazy one. Um, I mean, I've had strawberry and raspberry and blueberry before, but cinnamon yogurt? I am here for it. We needed some bread. I was there. It was there. That's the end of that story. The bananas is an excellent price at Costco. I want to make some more of my like date coconut bar thing. And this was a pretty good price at Costco. Uh, it's like 10 bucks for two pounds of dates. And I definitely wanted some oranges. So I wanted to try these like Cara Cara oranges with the pink inside. Haley already ate one. She said it was really good. And like I said, the green grapes are like money from Costco. So good. I like it a lot. But I was looking for like a no sugar added hot chocolate that I could have as like a snack. So pretty excited to find this. I've been looking at multiple stores for something like this. So happy to find it at Costco where it was like a lot for not that much money. Amazing deal on the protein powder. It was $39 for five and a half pounds. It says it's 80 servings, which is 50 cents a serving if you're doing the math. And you cannot go wrong with a chocolate and a vanilla. I've used the BCAAs from Optimum Nutrition and I think it's a really good quality. One scoop has 120 calories, 1.5 fat, three carb and 24 protein. This was on sale also, haven't had the peanut butter powder in a long time, but it mixes in really nicely with one of the protein shakes for like a morning shake. It's running low on butter, so I got eight pounds of that. This one was on sale as well. I like having these on hand. This one was on sale, total impulse purchase, complete impulse purchase, and the Zip Fizz were on sale today. Now, I am not going to be drinking this lemon iced tea one. There are six of those in here, so if you would like the lemon iced tea, go ahead and leave me a comment down below saying, hey, I would like the lemon iced tea and I will pick a winner and I will mail the six tubes to you. Of course, got the combo pack. I love the grape, Dave loves the fruit punch, and then we both like an orange. So it's like a nice split on that one. I was trying to get some more honey for my food storage. This one was a pretty good price, five pounds for like $12-ish. Wanted some of these easy breads as an easy side dish for dinners as my kids are learning to cook a little bit more. The lady had us try this. And they were like doing uh, samples. They're pretty good. They actually tasted almost exactly like a crepe to me. Do you call it a crepe or a crepe? American, so I say crepe. Quick shot, did I get everything? I think I did. I think I touched everything, so the grocery haul can be over. The amount I spent at Costco is huge. Here, and the total so far for week one and week two is this amount right here. Now what's great about a lot of things that I got today is this protein powder, this is gonna last for months. The hot chocolate is good for two months. This carnation breakfast is at least two months. We're not gonna go through all of this in the next three weeks probably. I mean the produce obviously, but the other stuff, no, not really. That's it for week two. I have no meal plan. Now, when we do the meal plan, I will give it to you in a few days. So I'll see you then. January 12th, we have a meal plan. I sat down with my kids. Ryan wanted to be included this time. And this is what they said. Ryan would like hamburgers with caramelized onions, bacon, and french fries. Tyler wanted chorizo potato hard tacos with sour cream and lime cilantro sauce. Andrew chose a beef and broccoli stir fry from the America's Test Kitchen youth cookbook. We're gonna have a leftover night. We're gonna have a steak dinner night, and that is all. So we went through what we had. This is my grocery haul. It costs 32 doll hairs, including tax. All of the potatoes at the store I was at, Fred Meyer, were really expensive today. And I was like, you know what we haven't had in a hot minute is tater bites. I mean, I mean tots, tater tots. I basically never buy tater tots. Haley? Yes. Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> Tater tots. Right, 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 right. right, right. Yeah. Not well, really I'll, a thing. I cannot remember the last time we had any. So I thought this would be a nice treat. It was under $2. Okay, here's the haul. This is literally everything I need for that meal plan for the next week. Remember the Costco thing was like more of a stock up on other stuff. This is actual meal plan. Zitator bites. Hamburger buns, wholly expensive. These cost double than they did six months ago. Yikes. Cilantro, the bacon was probably the most expensive thing I bought. Holy mother, bacon is a lot right now. Wow. I was really disappointed that this was the only chorizo that my Fred Meyer had. I walked the entire store looking for any other brand or style 
nada. We needed a bunch of broccoli. Fred Meyer was actually out of the fresh that you pick out yourself. This is the only broccoli they had. So this is what I got. Two limes, uh, sour cream, because we were out of that. Tyler requested the hard taco shells, so we got those. Went super easy with the lettuce and got this huge bag. How big is this? Two pounds of chopped romaine. I saw an organic milk for $3.29, so I picked that up. This is literally all, $32. Now, you know that I enjoy my clearance shopping, especially at Fred Meyer. Today, there was basically zero. And I really wanted to get some clearance bread because we I feel like we've been blowing through bread very quickly. The cheap, crappy, disgusting bread was like $2.50 a loaf. Not up in here. Think you gonna get away with it? Not up in here! I think I'm just gonna make bread tomorrow. I'm gonna get out my Bosch. I'm... <laughs> you just got really excited. Well, your bread is so yummy. <laughs> I think we're gonna make some homemade bread tomorrow. That's what we're gonna do. This will take us through like... January 20th. So I'll see you then. Welcome to another grocery haul. It's only a couple of days since the last one, but because I make cooking videos on YouTube sometimes, I need some specific ingredients for those videos. Now, this haul is specifically for a Pioneer Woman video that I'm gonna be recording this entire week. Uh, by the time you see this video, you will most likely have already seen it. This was $60. This was my very first time doing Walmart delivery with the Walmart Plus. I got a one month free trial so I could check it out. I thought it was pretty good, pretty seamless. Let me show it to you. The $60 does include the tip, just so you know. I have one loaf of tranche bread, some heavy whipping cream, some half and half, some whole milk, some sour cream, some cream cheese. I gotta tell you, Ree Drummond loves her full fat dairy. Pineapple chunks, deluxe stir fry veggie, ginger, teriyaki sauce. This I never buy, so I don't know what is a good one to, to buy. So I was like, I don't know this one, I guess. If you're a fan of store-bought teriyaki sauce, what's your favorite brand? Whole sweet pickles. This one scares the pants off of me. One of her recipes calls for olives, green olives. I talked to Dave about it. I am very scared. But I am also open to trying new things. So we are going to give it a go and see if it's horrible or see if it is indeed delicious. Some limes, a whole bunch of potatoes. Pioneer Woman goes big when it comes to potato dishes. Some green onions. My store didn't have any regular ones. I could only get the organic. Grape tomatoes, two red bells, Monterey Jack cheese. She also loves Nutella, by the way. Have you noticed that in her recipes? So I have two little jars of this. Graham crackers, sweetened condensed milk some wooden skewers because I didn't have any of those, some jalapenos and some green chilies and this. This is the smallest head of cauliflower I have ever seen. Like once I chop this up, I bet this is a half a pound. And what's really irritating is this was almost $3. $3 for half a pound of cauliflower. This right here is why I don't like other people picking up my produce because I would have purchased the biggest one, right? Because they're selling it each at Walmart and not per pound. I feel like I'm gonna have to go back to the store and get more because I don't think this is enough. So it's just like, it's teeny, it's so teeny. Look how little, like look how little. It's like half the size of my face. It's like the size of my chin. It's the size of my forehead. Like it's cute, but I can't make a full meal out of it either. <laughs> That is my entire haul for my Pioneer Woman video. If you haven't seen it, I will leave it linked down below for you. Friends, it is the end of January and I have one last grocery haul for you. And when I say one, I mean like three in one, like all wrapped into one. It's three different stores. Check that out right now and then we'll chat at the end about how we did for the month. I had to run into my Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger owned store because I saw two things in the ad the yogurt, the almond milk, both which I thought were really, really good prices. They also had cheese. And then of course I picked up a few clearance things as well. Everything you see right here was $34, including tax. Tax was about $2. The almond milk was $1.87 a half gallon. So I got four of these. My favorite is the unsweetened vanilla. So this'll be good just to squeak us by through the end of the month. We have the Dan and Lighten Fits were $1.87 as well, I think. No, $1.47, $1.47 for a four pack. They only had two peaches. 
Uh, so I got two of the toasted coconut vanilla, which is also amazing. Clearance items today, I completely splurged on this. This chicken sausage chorizo for $3.79. This is boar's head, which means it's like the fancy schmancy one. Regular price, this was $7.50 or $8. I've been watching Worst Cooks in America and they make a chorizo and shrimp paella that I wanted to try and recreate. And they use like a link chorizo kind of like this in the dish. So I did pick these up to throw in the freezer so I can make it whenever I need to. Don't need to make it now, so happy to find it. And then I did get a few clearance salads, a Caesar, a sweet kale, chopped ranch, and this um, Fiesta lime one. $34 today, got some great deals, very happy about that, and, and even splurged a little bit. I was pretty close to my discount store, so I decided to go in, see if there was anything delicious. I did go in to see if there's candy. Okay, true story. Didn't buy candy though. I did see their peanut butter was 99 cents a container. And this was amazing because this is not the little one. This is the big one. So I bought an entire case of 12 because I've got four kids. We can go through peanut butter like, whoa. One pound, 12 ounce container for 99 cents each. So I did get 12 of those to put into my long-term food storage. I saw two of these Simply Granola from Quaker. These are legit bomb. If you ever see these on a good price, try them. $1.50 each, amazing deal. And then I saw these Bob's Red Mill 10 grain pancake and waffle mix. I don't know if these are good, but I like Bob's Red Mill products, we'll see. These were $2 each. I just grabbed those to put into my breakfast bucket in my pantry, just for an easy breakfast. I don't know if this is like an add water. No, this is like add egg, oil, water. Something so easy that my young, young kids could do it as well. Anyway, this was $20 right here. Here's the haul that's actually the meal plan for the week. I have two heads of flour, some kale over here, five potatoes, bacon. Can you guess what one of the meals is? Two red bells, a little bit of fresh oregano. I miss the days when I lived in Texas. No, fresh rosemary. I miss the days in Texas when I could grow it on my front porch like year round. It was as big as a tree. Celery, so expensive today. This was $2.50. Lemons, a cuke. Cauliflower was on sale, $1.29 a pound, which was great. I mean, these do weigh a lot. So these two heads were $6.94. It did end up being quite a bit, uh, but $1.29 a pound is really great. We'll talk about this in just a second. And I definitely want to talk about this ham as well. All of this was $41.48 after tax. And now let's kind of talk about what I got and what the meal plan is and, and what this is about. Now, I asked my kids once again to pick out their meals for the week. Instead of looking at recipe books, uh, cookbooks, this time they just named a bunch of things that they like. One of my sons asked for red beans and rice, which was spectacular the last time we had it. It's been at least a month now. So I'm like, okay, I need to get a ham hock or a ham steak, because I don't have just ham, you know, like a ham bone, for that. Everything else I pretty much have, except for the celery. So I went to the store and I found the ham steak, one ham steak, it was like a pound, was $7. So I'm like, wow, this is really expensive for what is supposed to be a budget meal. I'm thinking I'm gonna go ask the meat counter if they have any ham hocks, like back in the back. They didn't have any in the front. So I'm walking over to the meat counter and I see this huge display of ham butt portion for 99 cents a pound. That makes this seven and a half pound ham $7.50 like less than a dollar more for seven and a half pounds of food versus one pound of food. I can get at least three meals out of this. So I went ahead and got this bigger one for essentially the same price. So I'm gonna have to push the red beans and rice back on the meal plan a little bit. I don't have the bone out of here yet. I need to make some other things first. And then once I have the bone, we'll make the red beans and rice. Sometimes if you need like this cut of meat, maybe walk around a little bit, you'll see a meat that's similar, like a cheaper cut that will work and you'll get way more out of it. This is grain-free cassava orzo. The reason I need this is I am taking a meal to a neighbor who just had a baby. They are gluten-free, dairy-free, and nut-free. The nut-free includes coconut. So my original plan was to make a potato cheese soup. I have one that uses cream cheese. I know there's a vegan cream cheese that is dairy-free. I could use the bacon, like if I made sure it was like a gluten-free bacon, potatoes, and the dairy-free cream cheese. So I go to look at the cream cheeses, they all have coconut oil in it, which is a no-no. So I'm walking around the grocery store like, 
what in the heck am I gonna make this family? I found that very challenging. But there is a recipe for lemon chicken orzo soup on damndelicious.net that's super good. The only thing that's the issue is the pasta and I knew they made gluten-free, grain-free pasta. This one is produced in a dedicated gluten-free facility, completely free of milk, shellfish, nuts, wheat. I felt like this was a safe option. Holy expensive. I wonder if this is cheaper on Thrive Market. I'm gonna have to look. Okay, the meal plan my kids picked out, obviously the red beans and rice, and then Haley said she wanted the Zupa Toscana soup, which I haven't made in so long, and everybody was like, yes, 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 why are we not eating this? And then the third one was, my kids call it the nothing soup. It is a pureed Tuscan white bean and sage, like creamy soup. It's really delicious. And I'm like, you guys, this is a lot of soup, it feels like. And they were like, it's freezing outside. Anyway. Okay, we've reached the end and the total spent for the entire month on groceries for my family of six, including some stock ups, is this amount right here. So do you consider that a good budget, a bad budget? It is January of 2022. Grocery prices are There are always some tips and tricks that will help no matter what the grocery prices are at the store. I will leave a list of those videos to help you out down below for you. If you wanna try out Built Bar, ease that sweet tooth craving while getting some protein in, that's the first link down in the doobly-doo for you. What are your grocery budgets looking like at the moment? Are they doubling, tripling? Are you able to keep your grocery costs under control? And can you find everything that you were looking for in the stores? Because I've noticed that's becoming an issue as well. As far as whether I made a dent or not in my freezer, yeah, I made a little bit of a dent in my freezer for sure. I uh, got a lot of the proteins, like the meats out and I'm using those slight dent in the pantry, not as much as I wanted. I had a lot of crackers. I feel like I need to make my kids eat more crackers. And I feel like my fridge kind of always looks the same no matter what. It's definitely not like empty, empty, empty. So should we do this again in February? Like trying to eat what we have? Because I feel like I kind of failed in January. I don't like the word fail. I either succeeded or I learned something. So I feel like I learned something. Either way, I hope you had a good time hanging out with me today. I had a great time hanging out with you over the course of the entire month and I'll see you in February. <laughs>